Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Cult of Babel, an arena survival action roguelite that calls itself an overpowered wizard simulator. People seem to be really liking this one, and I'm very curious to check it out. This is a free version of it that is out now on Steam, the prologue version. But we're going to check it on out. Clear the first area to unlock. Alistair Crowley, allegedly the mightiest wizard of all time. Create a clone of yourself that shoots in the same direction. So I do believe that, yes, this is one that we are actually going to be aiming. One moment. Yep. All right. And if I remember correctly, this one, it has like a little bit of a focus on cards of some kind. I don't know exactly what it means. Like, I don't want to go as far as to say like, oh, okay. So we have a dash that it's like a deck builder or anything. So what is going on with our shots? They seem to be bouncing sometimes, maybe? Okay. Card shop. We have... How much money do we have? We have 17 bucks. Is that accurate? Do we, we have 17 bucks? Do we really... We don't get any of these? Or, uh, or what's up? Range up, gain an armor. Your projectiles can now freeze enemies, unlocks ice cards. Ooh. Damage up, projectiles size up. Fire a soul gear that bounces off enemies every six shots. I mean, I wish. It seems like we don't get any of this stuff. That's okay. One moment again, the sound is just hard to balance. All right. So we don't get anything there. So when do we unlock the shop? When does that happen? Also, spacebar seems to... How do we make the clone? Is that, that on the right click? Is that what that is? So we have a dash on space that we can just do often. And then we have on right click, we leave, ah, we leave a little bit of a shadow clone thing. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. There is money all over the place. So when do we trigger the shop then? When does a guy trigger the shop then? Okay, it just seems to happen every once in a while. We have a lot more money to play with. Fire a soul wave in the face direction every four shots. Luck up, critical damage up. Fire a soul arrow at the cursor every three shots. Can we buy more than one if we have money? For more? Upgrade deck. Okay. Just curious. Oh my god, we absolutely can. We can, we can buy all of them. Luck up, critical damage up. I'm just gonna skip that one. I feel like... Why blow it all right now? Okay. All right. We're throwing a little bit of stuff. What is booster pack? Okay. 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 Oh, that's exciting. Choose one or leave. Damage up, lock up. Damage up, projectile size up. You know what? Let's do it. This is bumping. But yeah, projectile size seems like it might be relevant. Are both of these going to be shooting the special things? Don't know. Don't quite know. We do slow down while we are firing. I keep on thinking the candles are money too, because they, they've got like a little bit of a glow to them. All right, so there's a clock in the upper right. I would imagine that that is probably where we uh, will figure out when we get a shop. That'd be my guess. Could be wrong. Go, 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 go. Oh, is this a boss type one or something? A boss type beat? Seems it. Okay. Bong. Shoot behind you every third shot. Speed up. Knock back up. Damage up. HP up. Luck up. I'm definitely going to take this. Sure. A little bit of HP can't hurt. Did we did we heal off that, or maybe we just heal every once in a while? I don't know. Don't know which. All right, there's a lot of money over here I'd like to pick up. Whoop. I do love that we get to aim. I do love that we get a dash. It's nice and clean. I do like that the color contrast is nice and high, and we can really see which uh, you know which things are enemies. Everything like that. It's looking looking quite clean. Oh my god. 
be like double dash out of there because the right click does dash and leap the little clone. All right. Solid enough. So I don't think that the shot that shoots out of our bottom hind is going to be um, doing any of the bonus effects that we have. Wait, why did I get a speed up there? It seems like I got like, I think I got hit by something. Oh, what do we got? Dash range up. I don't know. Player speed up. Bullet speed up. Fire rate up. Lock up. We do have the ability to reroll if we really want. I feel like that's a rough call, though. Sure. I don't really want to dash range up, and I don't want to reroll right now. I'd rather save my money. Right, go, 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 go. It's all over the place, man. I think let's be like a little bit more intentional with our shots, a little bit more of a tap firing situation. What hit me? That thing does AOE. That's what it is. The exploding boy has a really big radius. Gotcha. I'll say the visual on the explosion is not very noticeable. I had to figure that out by, by deduction, not from like visual cues. Like, obviously, is there an explosion? Yeah, but it, among everything else, it's just kind of another thing. So about that visual clarity thing I said. Maybe the, that does not quite apply to the explosion. Getting a little bit cornered here. Because I'm trying to really keep my distance from these bomb boys. Okay. A lot of money I didn't get right before this. Projectiles can now set enemies on fire. Fire rate up, weapon spread increase, fire rate up, player speed up. I mean, I'd like all of those. At speed up, more speed up. Let's do one reroll now. Do we get the fire? Secret spell, dash range up. Better and more frequent health pickups. Let's take a little bit of that. More fire rate. Fire rate is going to be good for us since we do effects every, like... Ah, so that's just... I mean, obviously, that's going to be uh, a health pickup. It's got the little plus on it. It kind of just looked like a wallet. <laughs> if I'm going to be honest, I thought it was a wallet. Oh my god, I need all this stuff so much. Just go rapid. Go rapid. Just hold down fire and walk straight into it. Oh yeah, that is pain. So that's the heal. That is the heal indeed. Okay, I'd like to get down here and get all of the, uh, ooh, all of the money. Super mode activate. Super mode activate. There we go. Oh my god, using that wall to my advantage? That's an interesting thing. I don't know. What is this magnet? Ooh. It's exactly what you would think. It's incredible. We have both double, double health pickups on the ground right there. Soul drill that pierces through enemies every six shots. Critical hit chance up. Range up, gain an armor. I don't know what that means. In the context of this game. Damage up, lock up. HP up to start next wave at full. I mean, sure. Another reroll seems a little bit weird. And I don't know if I really want that much more speed. I'll do one more reroll. It's getting kind of expensive, though. Dash cooldown down. Dash cooldown down. Gain a little bit of armor, sure. Wait, did I get the dash cooldown down? I think I might have skipped that or something else. So the armor seems to be like an armor heart, potentially. Maybe like a temp heart. That's my educated guess as of right now. Yeah, so they, those guys blow up on a delay. Ba 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 babble. So we can't... I mean, obviously, we're not going to be able to restore our shields. You and me, my boy. You and me against the world. All right, get out. Oh, it's not looking good. Not looking good? Okay, we use, the, use those eye frames. Get the hell out. Just for a second. Okay, spawn the clone. Go crazy. This is our time to shine. Oh, uh oh. Oh, we were about to get so much more. 
bonus dash charge, lay a mine when you dash. Both of those together is certainly interesting, in addition to laying a mine when we dash. Speed up. I'm going to go for it because then maybe, you know, we'll walk faster while we are, um, while we're firing. And that is useful. Okay, huge. Not to be missing HP right now. Get a little mine. Can we meet more than one? Yep. More mines. More mines! Come here, jerks! Oh my god, it's actually really solid. Those mines are actually really good. There's a card pack down there. Okay. Go. What do you got? Bang, 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 bang. I love that card pack effect. Uh, Out of stock. Oh god. They really put me right into it there. Go all in. So much freaking money. And of course there's the shop then. Out of stock. Dio. Bonus projectile, damage down, fire rate down. I don't really want a fire rate down. I'd like to buy an out of stock, please. Yeah, bonus projectile is obviously good. I don't know, like, without knowing... What do you mean upgrade, though? Hold on. Where's just fire rate? Ah! Imbued with... it's Okay, we can imbue with fire magic? This is really interesting. Just go with lots of fire rates up for now. We have the ice. We want it. Damage at projectile size up. I want more of that. This this is really interesting. This is a really interesting take. Mine's gain shrapnel. Get fire damage. All right, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, oh. All right, I've done something. I've done something. Oh my God. Oh my heavens. Oh my word. Okay, well, we're gonna be getting a little bit more money now, I would imagine. took a hit there. That doesn't really matter that much to me. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, this went from uh, fine to ridiculous very quickly. Oh my god. Magnet, thank you. I love the magnet. Oh my god. More! More! 750? We're gonna be able to upgrade every single card we have. What the hell else is even left? Frozen damage take 25% more damage. Elemental effects are more frequent. Let's buy both those and then go for the upgrade deck. Yes. 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 Always shoot behind you? Yeah. Absolutely. Fire damage up. Frost chance up. Frozen damage take 50% more damage. More frequent. Okay. My god. Bullet speed up. Give me knockback up, damage up, and sure. All right, how stupid are we now? Oh my god. Oh my god. What is happening? What have I done? What have I done? Top hat projectiles bounce off of enemies. 
Uh, that seems unbelievably overpowered. Yeah, things just got silly. Like, they already were silly. Things have continued to remain to be silly. I don't know what that black hole effect is coming from, which thing that is. I don't remember. I don't know. I don't remember. But nothing stands a freaking chance of a chance of a chance. I need to find more enemies that I can actually kill. That's where I'm at. I'm like, just give me more guys. Magnet. God, the magnet. Just being a built-in pickup drop is so nice. So nice. Clockwork Dragon. Fire rate increases when HP is low. Card effects activate more frequently. Let's get both. Even more frequently. Let's just do both of those. I don't know that we're at low HP. But in the... Uh... Uh... We may be, like, moving towards game break. Like, literally game freeze territory soon. Oh my god. We may be moving in that direction. Yes, indeed. I healed at some point there. They're getting lots of health, too. Is there like a... I wonder if there's an end. Or if it's just like... keep go Well, yeah, it said beat level 1. Is it just 24 seconds? 20 seconds? That's probably 20 seconds on the next shop, isn't it? They're getting a lot of health, though. So it seems like you're supposed to be about this overpowered. It seems to be the case at the very least. I can't really tell what's happening anymore, and I'm fine with it. I got hit at some point there. That's okay. Getting hit just makes me stronger. Enemies have a 10% chance to explode. I don't know if that's good. Fire propagation chance. Sounds fun. More. Get HP up. I feel like that may play well with the, um... I don't know. Sometimes when items have more damage when you're low on HP, having a higher HP pool helps. You know, it depends. Because sometimes it's based off of a percentage. Sometimes it's like, how much health are you missing? And then sometimes it's just how much health do you have left? And I just don't know which one this is. Somebody want to drop a magnet for me real quick? And also want to point out where a magnet might be? Oh my god. Oh my god! Go, go, go! Okay, we're taking damage, it's, it seems. I mean, I, I definitely can't see the enemies. So, like, I'm going based off a of vibe there. Is there health in the wall? Seems to be health that I can't quite get to there. I did it! I cleared the cult archives! Oh my god, this is... This is a wild one. Holy crap. That's the cult archive. Achievements. Are there any right now? Uh, magical swiftness. Devil's cards. Win with Lilith. Speed Demon, win with Lilith under 14 minutes. I mean, it's cool that that's, there's that stuff there for, like, a little freebie. Ability Demon Form, invincible dash slashing your enemies. Played, a poke, played poker with a demon, won a shotgun. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so definitely... Ooh. Ooh. Much bigger dash. It didn't take a too close of a gander at the different... Oh my god. Ugh! I'm terrified of using that dash effectively. We'll see, we'll see. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so now we know we have the upgraded as well. Player speed, bullet speed, fire rate, player speed. I mean, we can start with just the simple stuff. So yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I think that maybe getting a firm foundation first is not a bad idea anyways. Oh, it is very much a teleports behind you. Nothing personnel kid kind of a move. Holy son of a gun. 
Boom, 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 boom. They're taking 23 damage. Oops. So we can only do that every every couple seconds. Every like 5, 10. I don't know. It's tough. Time gets absolutely warped in a game like this. It's hard to really tell what's 5 seconds and what's 10 and what's 20. Sometimes you're just like, I don't know, man. I'm just vibing. Dash range. Range up, gain armor. Soul wave and face shot every four shots. I'll take a range up and then I'm going to go for an upgrade. I'm going to assume that the one that just does fire rate gives us more fire rate. I would hope, right? You would think. You would think if it's a one trick card. But then again, maybe there's just some cards that are in the same tier but strictly worse. Like, it'd be cool if it said what kind of percentage so that, you know, those who want to do min max could min max. Maybe there's an option, or maybe there could be an option for advanced tooltips if you don't want to overwhelm people. Like, have that option be on for those who want it. I think it's never a bad thing to have an advanced tooltips option. For those who want to sweat in a game like this, because there's different reasons why people like games like this. Some people just want to feel overpowered and clicks silly button, get silly strong. I gotta say, I hope this remains the case in the full version, but there is there is not seemingly meta progress, which I like. Like there is meta progress in the sense of unlocks. I like that. Let me unlock cards, let me unlock characters. Don't let me unlock the ability to beat level one. That's... Uh, bleh, bleh, I hate that in games like this. Hate it so much. Uh, we're one off of being able to upgrade all of them. Get that. Sure. Oh, that's too expensive. We get some more armor. We, got, we should have armor out the wazoo now. We do indeed. It's that dash range is so big. It's so big that I don't know that I can ever really control it. Yeah, I mean, unless enemies like won't spawn a certain distance away from you, maybe we could use that to our advantage then knowing we're always probably roughly going to be dashing to safety, but I don't think that that's necessarily the case. See, yeah, it's definitely not, it's definitely not the case. I don't know. The range on that is, it's too big to not have iframes at the end of it. Point, point. Oh, boy. Ah! Okay, we have a whole bunch of armor, which is nice. Okay, oh, the, there's a little clicking. Didn't even notice that. Projectiles can now spawn thunder strikes, unlocks thunder cards. Sure. Damage up, gain armor. Ooh. Oh, it's so cool with the shotgun. Thunder shotgun. I like focusing in a little bit more like you get so 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 many cards i will say that often games uh, that take this approach where you get like a million cards it's important that there is so so many new cards so many different cards or cards that unlock more cards in the pool you know kind of going for the nova drift style upgrade battery sure oh my god the nova drift style upgrade or something like that so that you know, you can get more options, but it's only, they only show up when it's pertinent to your build. That kind of a thing, like, is really, really helpful. Because otherwise, you will often run into situations where you will get um, the same run pretty frequently. Oh my god, we're taking damage left, to right, and center now. I need to just stop dashing. Dashing just kind of is not very good. I like it better when we're holding down fire and dash. Even though we move like two inches, I'm finding it genuinely more usable, which is a little weird. It's a little bit of an unwieldy dash. 
Projectiles bounce off enemies seems so good. Plus one projectile seems bad. If it's double your projectiles, then it's a different story. All right. So we should have bouncy electric shotgun shells doing a lot of work here. Yeah. I'll say it seems like there's a really solid amount of perks though for a uh, the free version of the game. Which is really, really, really good sign. I just hope they continue to have really like fresh, fun, cool ideas for cards and everything. Because again, yeah, with this approach, and it is a good approach to make it clear. I, I actually really, I'm really enjoying this one. I will be honest, like I'm not the guy that's going to play every single arena survival action roguelike. Like, there's too many to come out. It, a lot of them are not doing anything new at all the like and, and it like i don't want to dunk on it but like it's kind of just like a you know like a project to be like i want to see if i can make a popular game not i want to see if i can make a good game um and this seems to be doing some some interesting things like this upgrade deck take like effectively almost doubles the amount of cards in the game you can also go you can go wide with like buying lots of different cards or you can go deeper like, I would just say adding, like, the ability to... And this is, like, this is extra, obviously. But, like, if everything had, like, an one step further upgrade and you could only... You could get one stack. Like, maybe every four shops or something. Or if you beat, like, a mini boss or something. You get, like... You get the ability to super upgrade one card to a third extremely high echelon tier like that would be so fun and it'd be very much in line like you can upgrade it to a mythic quality or or whatever and you can only you could do it like once maybe you could get two in a run like that would make this game so much deeper and would it be a lot of work to program that system yeah sure but uh it would effectively immediately make runs you know much more diverse like you could i could focus in more on the lightning strikes or i could focus in more on the bouncing like that could be like our super super powerful thing like obviously you got to rebalance the game around that afterwards but i think that that's just that's the thing is balance ooh, but balance for fun or uh, you know design for fun first balance second there's always a difficult thing, though, like whenever you release a game and you want to do that approach, obviously some people get mad when you nerf things. Like, obviously, you know, it's a tricky thing. Card effects activate more frequently. I don't see... Here's the thing. I don't know what that means. Oops, I guess I'm going for that. I'm assuming is. I meant to go to the... I meant to exit out of the shop to go to the uh, upgrades. Oh, that, that feels bad. That feels bad. Plus one power charge. I'm assuming that's my dash. I don't know if I trust this. Are we shooting twice as many? I think I think it might be shooting twice as many bullets. And we're not firing that much slower. I think we just want to stand our ground a little bit here. But, like, I like that we can just launch this up and we have, you know, the ability to play well enough, build well enough to make a build that can win. I really like that idea. But then, obviously, to keep it uh, fresh and replayable and interesting, you gotta go, you gotta go wide, you gotta make sure the runs uh, feel very, very different from each other. You gotta, gotta have, you know, lots of unlocks as far as you know, new cards to add to the pool. And yeah, I, I really do think like going for a legendary card type system would be really neat. Even if they weren't like too much different than just getting the card a second time, you know, it, it would really make a difference. It would. Damage up, gain armor. That could be really good. Uh, let's go to the upgrade deck first. Sure, whatever. Seemed to be good last time. Wow me. Wow me. Dash cooldown down. 
Come on, we have so much money. Give me like a purple again. Maybe we can only get a certain amount. I don't know if that's true or not. Better more frequent. Luck and crit damage. Sure, we'll go for luck now. Upgrade all them stinkers. Uh, let's just let's save money. I'm not going to spend a hundred bucks. Oh my god, I was immediately dashing? I can't... I think we're firing just three times as many. Arcana table. Huge damage up, fire rate and speed down, more money gain, more damage taken. All stats up, you cannot dash anymore. Okay. Cool. I don't need no dashing. I also can still dash with my right click, so... If we can get that plus one power charge, I think that would be worth it. Uh, the amount of all stats up that you're giving me is pretty obscene. I think I made a good call. And again, I still have a dash. It's just effectively on a really big cooldown. Is there a magnet anywhere? There we go. Ooh. Just always be firing ABF. Magnet, go before the. Oh, cool. Oh, it works. Lay down a mine when you dash. I don't really have a way to dash, but I, I mean, it still does. Damage up armor. Wow, me. Crit chance up. I mean, sure. All right, what do we want to upgrade? We could just probably try and upgrade all of it. Or we could literally just upgrade all of it. Do we want any of this? Dash cooldown down. Ah, let's get this stuff. I want to have a different run. Oh, man. I want to have a different run than last time. Woo, boy. This is silly. This is highly silly. How do we... So it's 10. Is it like, I'm assuming, at 12? Is that the idea? Oh my god. I'm just like, I'm not going to take damage, though. Look at this. Then they bounce if they hit something, and they just kind of float around for a while gonna need a magnet to really get any of my money because I have no idea where any of it is anymore. I feel like one of the stats we got was... I don't know. What did we get? What are all the stats? Bye-bye. Oh. Bong. Drone invocation. Ooh, legendary. Invoke an orbital every 12 kills. Plus two projectile. I mean... Get them both. Oh, this is probably a little bit better. And then next shop, hope. Well, I don't know. If we, are we gonna get another shop? Is this is eleven? Does it go to eleven to twelve? Look at the bottom left there. Look at those. Oh, there's the orbitals. I see. They're right around our light radius. You can't really see them until I stop shooting. There's the circles there. I'm not going to need them. What I do want is a magnet. Just kind of walk around, look for a magnet. There we are. Ooh, boy. Ba -bum, ba -thum, ba -thum. So much money sitting around, too. Nothing's going to get anywhere near close to me. Boink, 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 boink. My goodness. This is, this is a fun one of these. This is a fun one of these. It just takes all the pretense out and says, hey, you don't have to grind for 10 hours, 20 hours. Here you go. Start a run. If you pick the right stuff, you get to go wild. Obviously, would I do I want like an ascension type mode or more difficult floors uh, to go with it? Yes, I do. I would. So let's go upgrade the legendary if we can. 
Orbital speed up. More projectiles always shoot behind you. The fact that you can get a legendary and then upgrade the legendary is just really fun. Let's get that and upgrade it. What else we got for 140? Ah, who cares? Let's just reroll those. This is I think this is our last one. This is what I would have liked. Projectiles pierce through an enemy. Thunder strikes target one more enemy. Yeah, this is it's it we're seeing a lot of Oh my god. Oh my god. It was nice to have bitrate on YouTube well I could, you know? Boom. Well, boom. That's actually kind of optimal because we get our reload. Move, fire, move, fire, move, fire. There's a little bit of skill to that, then, a little bit. It can be, depending on. <laughs> Imagine skill in my arena survival roguelike. But, like, obviously, right now we don't really need any skill. Our build will do all of the work for us. Oh my god. Where was that magnet? Is there another one? I did it, man. This is fun, though. This is genuinely fun, though. Uh, clear the first area with Lilith. We've unlocked the Devil's Cards. Clear the first area in under 14 minutes. I just realized. Wait, what? Okay. So, I guess it's based off of kills when we move to the next. That's one thing I did not quite notice. I just wanted to fire, you know? See, see direction, shoot in direction. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, I just want to think around for a second. Probably not go for it. Where exactly do you see how many more enemies you need to kill? Because otherwise, why would there be a speed run mode? Doesn't make sense. Huh. It seems like, because, yeah, there's just the timer in the upper right, and whenever that goes. Huh. Bluff. 10% dodge chance. I mean, I don't have the stuff for it. I just wanted to look around. I'm not seeing. Oh. I see. Is it the hour hand? Is that what it is? It's very tough to see that. I'm just sorry. I'm, I'm going to get hit a bit while I look at that. It seems like that's moving up a little bit with every kill. Ah. That seems to potentially be it. Just looking up there at it. Oh, I did not... Okay, I mean, yeah, sure. I, I, I'm aware. I'm aware. I was busy. What if I... Uh, sure. Yeah, all right. Very cool. I just want to check it out a little bit there. Uh, but yeah, there's the two characters there. It seems like they you could do quite a bit of different builds with the, the two. Uh, I guess apparently you can do it quicker. It seems like it's not like survive X minutes. It's survive X unit kills, which is neat. So yeah, there's uh, achievements for getting a run under 14 minutes for both of those unlock a couple new things in the game uh but yeah it's a very cool premise and it's very um very expandable the way that they've decided to to go about it uh really solid i love that there is no grindy meta progress that you can jump in and you can have a very good time and make a really silly build right away again going that route in order to like uh keep play time and have people not be fussy about like ooh, i didn't have to grind 20 hours to get to the point where this game is at the start so therefore it's incomplete question mark which is backwards um but it's in order to stop those people <laughs> you need to make sure you have a, a, an unfortunately like very very large amount of diverse content within it and 
compelling reasons to do it. I really do think like a, a legendary card type system would be a really good idea. Um, limiting it down to like one or two that you would get per run. Um, and then like, you know, maybe if there's an endless mode for the people who want to get full broken that you could just like every, you know, every X hours, you get one more token that you can use to upgrade a card into a legendary or something. Um, I really think that that'd be a fun way of doing it. You can take that kind of concept and apply it in a different way. Basically just really honing in on the fact that that will be the biggest hurdle for this game when it goes into a paid version is um, people, people expecting you, the developer to take away 50% of the game and put it behind a tech tree so that it feels more complete. Because some people are like, well, if there's no if there's no meta progress, then why would I want to play the game? If you don't want to play the game without a without a meta progress tree, it wasn't a very fun game, <laughs> right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to play it without a meta progress tree, the game wasn't that fun to begin with. So this game is fun to begin with. That's what I'm get, that's what I'm getting at. This game is fun to begin with, and I think that it can go uh, a lot of places. And I think it's got a good it's got a good solid visual to it. Nice readable uh the bullet effects are nice they seem punchy they change when you really take a bunch of stuff uh the upgrading system of the cards i really like that i like that you can buy multiple upgrades per shop i, I think that's really solid i i do like the fact that you can uh, complete it quicker if you have a very very powerful build i like that that incentivizes a build to become stronger gives you more playability in the sense of like trying to beat your own times there's like there's lots of different ways uh that you can go about making this great and i think that the free version right here is very solid and i highly recommend anybody who likes this genre picks this one up i think this one is one of the ones that's worth your time uh and i coming from me it means a lot because like i said i i'm not gonna cover every single one there's too many and quite honestly i'm I'm thinking it's fairly oversaturated uh, and it has been oversaturated for a month or so. But this one, it feels fresh enough, uh, fun enough. I, I enjoy it. Alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel, Roguelikes, and more every single day. This has been Call to Babble. Check it out with the link at the top of the description for free. Please wishlist the full version if you enjoy yourself. Uh, thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.